love. I just that. want to say that Ryan Murphy, is his name? Is Ryan that? Murphy, you know, Ryan Murphy, he's do some next level stuff, man. Because this show. You know, show, it's Ryan and Brad, right, though? They both know the show together. They're partners. This show in American Horror Story is just lit. So crass to Brad. And Brad. You know American Horror Story, too? Yeah, okay. they partners. So Ryan and Brad, man, they just do the next level shit because. This show in American so Horror silly. Story, like, but they, these two shows, they not yeah. like nothing else. And they take twists and turns that nobody ever would have thought about. And it's like, what the heck is going on? But it's so good. And it's like, oh my God, this is so stupid. But at the same time, it's so good. And I can't stop watching it because I love all the characters. And I just love everything about the show. It's crazy. It <laughs> and it's just like American Horror it Story. <laughs> That's it's crazy. Sick. This is so silly, not sick. So, so before we started, back off the haters. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and comment your favorite yes. Screen Queens character. And we, wow, have, Screen Queens has been on because one, the election came on. They have to show the election stuff, and then two, the freaking World Series is on the Cubs. Why we? Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, um, yeah. Oh, and we changed our name, guys. So yeah, it's Mila Lena's way. It's not Shinola no more. I know you haven't seen this in a while for Screen Queens. So it's shy underscore no. It's not. It, it wasn't. It's, it was. It's not that no more. It's Mila and Lena's way. Okay. So. Hi, I'm Mila. And I'm Lena. If y'all didn't know, this is Mila, and that's Lena. So yeah, I look like Lena too. Don't they like don't. Lena. It's not, it seems like people in pictures. They like the girl with the blue the hair. The girl on the left. The girl on the right. I know. Girl <laughs> left. Girl right. But anyway, yeah. So, so I just want to mention that T Louts is back. So I've been missing T Louts. For a while, I've been missing you know him, his like real serious act, and not act like you know like. T. So, Louts is back. Oh yeah, but we finally found out who that baby was, and we found out in the best way because Ooh. this show is crazy. Like I We're said before, under. so let's get into it. So finally, Chanel. So they found Chanel number five. They're like, look, Chanel. She's like, I heard her scream. She was like, How you hear Chanel number five scream from all the way across the hospital? And she's like, Look, Chanel number three was like, she is drawn to Chanel number five's pain like a shark is drawn to blood in the water. She addicted to it. Mm. So anyway, De Denise is dead. Well, no, De oh, Denise is, is brain, brain dead, dead because so, she got shocked so much. Mm -hmm. So what the heck? Zayda was like, "That's horrible, oh my God!" So Denise gonna let Chanel number five sit there. Chanel was like, "We need two minutes without you yapping, Chanel number five. And Chanel number five passed out because she had got severely stabbed. Yeah. So, so they so, planning on dumping. D Munch was like, "Okay, let's go dump her in the swamp. We can't deal with this. No FBI agent getting killed in no hospital. That's so real. No FBI agent getting." No FBI, the FBI swarming this place and all that stuff. And then they was, then she was just like, we're going to tell them that she left. And she went yeah. on a secret mission to do some top secret stuff or something. Wait. Quantico. So, yeah. So, Dave was like, look, um, they're going to come looking for her. I missed Denise now. already. I know. So, uh, they, they, but then they left Chanel on Friday because they heard Chamberlain screaming. It's not like Chamberlain. Um, everybody was dead. In this run of the American Horror Story, what was that? That was crazy. Ceiling? Everybody was dead. Lynn Manuel was Miranda that? Hamilton. Everybody was dead. What? Like it looked that was supposed to be Lynn Manuel Miranda up there. But they did Hamilton. Oh, that was really crazy. They was hanging off of stuff. That's what I mean. It was a massacre. It was. How did they kill all those people? Who did that? So Dean Munch was like, I can't, I can't transport all these bodies. We have to call police. So he was, was like, we don't got no choice now. We can't cover all this up. So they was like, go change all your costumes. And Zayda was like, look, um, I'm not, she got to help her. So then Zayda was like, I'm not dumping this body. She's like, okay, look, I know you're not dumping the body. Denise is still alive, but she's brain dead. So she was like, look, she had the fakest heartbeat, so she's probably brain dead. So they're going to put her in this cryogenic thing that she brought with the rare whale money because it well, it is for her. Because they're going to see, they're going to test it on Denise. You, you either want Denise to be getting fed through a feeding tube and watch her slowly. First of all, Dean Munch is not even no doctor. I know. She had a faint pause. She didn't try to revive her. Neither did Zayde. Because she believed that Dean Munch was going to... But anyway, yeah, so they just, um, <laughs> they just going to find a cure for being electrocuted and keep her in there. So, yeah. Um, Dean was like, look, I'm getting worse. I don't want to end up in this crowd. Do you think Zayde, please tell me? This so, is what crazy. is they going to... What? So, she want um, Zayde to find a cure mm -hmm. for her? But they're not even, like, working on her or testing on her. They not even real people. And she got that from when she was eating mm -hmm. those other people and she didn't know those dead people. Remember, she went over to... Like Nurse Hoffle said, 
That's crazy. But yet, it's just as much stupid as it is. You thought you was going to play in New Jersey, you left in New Guinea. That's dumb. That's, that's stupid. In the other situation, how she got to that situation is stupid. So, yeah. <laughs> then Chanel peed out all the blue. She's like, yeah, but my butt is still blue, so I look like a little blonde baboon, but that's okay. So then Brock was like, yeah, I gave you some more medicine. I don't know who would mess up my silver poisoning, my little silver Dean thing. Dean Munchbox. Yeah, right? Dean Munch. She's like, yeah, but, you know, she was amazing. And this, he was just going on and I on. know. And he was like, well, I only slept, slept with her because I was missing you and I was upset about you. And she was like, well, I'm going to need a minute. But maybe not that much. Not maybe not a maybe, know, not, maybe not that long because she don't have no like emotional, emotional stuff. Yeah. So she's like, but I she's like, you. isn't y'all more I age appropriate you. because you was thirty when I was born? So yeah. <laughs> then um, they finally called the police, and so then Dean was like, look, I finally knew what it had to. I finally knew what it had to been like to be like Freddy Krueger because she was walking through a nightmare. So then she was like, but. The Cure Institute was dead, but she wasn't far behind. But something unexpectedly happened. Like, every... It's so crazy. I thought it was, it was like, going to end. I know. It was so crazy. Like, this show is like, oh, but wait, something happened. I know. One week later, no bad, no press is bad press, really. So they said the hospital was thriving with new medical anomalies, she said, coming in. And it was just so much going on. They didn't care about possibly getting murdered because they wanted their illnesses and conditions to be fixed. Yeah. So a whole bunch of new people came in that hospital. It was all filled up. It was some new staff yeah. members and stuff. Did you? Because everybody got you. I know. Did you? Dean was when Dean was talking to the one patient. She was like, "That's a mouthful of name. Can I just call you Marfan?" She's like, "No." no. And she's like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna call you Marfan." So then just named girl named Daria. And she said, "Um, she had a syndrome where she can't move any part of her face." Mm. So then she's like, "Okay, well, um, I'll help you with that too." So then it was this other lady. She's like, "Well, I work at the United Nations." So she was just talking. She's like, "There's like, oh." Are you Swedish? She's like, no, I'm from Minnesota. You probably picking up on a Minnesota accent. This is actually a real thing. This actually happened before where you can get a concussion and you can start talking in a like with a different accent. Yeah, I could see that. But Did, she was doing I know. like oh, this is some good accent. Some that good was accent. funny. I know I love her. Yeah. I love her. So Do you want an accent? No. Let's go British. Chanel, Chanel number three. Let's is go like, British. Shouldn't British. Um, give me a spot of tea. That's it. That's all. A spot. She never did like she has yet to do an accent that was offensive. And then she did like uh, Indian, Indian guy accident. So then she's like, never mind. They she did it. So yeah. So then Chanel was like, look, um, this ain't no sanitary way to clean bed pants because they was out there cleaning it outside with a scrub brush. So then Chanel was like, well, we was about to dump a body, and then somebody else got killed. So we I don't think we really got rules here, Chanel. Like, he, she let Chanel no three talk back to her, but she don't let Chanel no five. I know, they mean. Yeah. So then uh, Nurse Hoff was like, y'all need to rinse these catheter tools. I think it's nurse still some Hoff juice in there. Nurse Hoff is so mean. I know, but she does so good. Chris, yeah. Yeah, she do, but she Chris do got a point. She was like, I'm glad y'all not nowhere near no hospital where y'all don't need to be. She just be going in on them not all the time. Because they don't need to be nowhere near no, no patients trying to do anything with nobody. Because they're not real doctors at She's all. She's like, look here, a little Dirk Dr. B. So then she, then she told her that they needed a sample of something. They had to go get it from the guy that was in the coma. So she's like, how are you supposed to do that? So she's like, you know how to do it, Chanel 03. So then Chanel 03 was like, mm. So then um, Chanel ended up throwing a bedpan at her. So she's like, she gonna do something. I don't know. So then Chanel was like, look, I'm getting a manicure. And then I'm gonna get my stuff steamed. And she's like, no. Chanel 03 like, no, I'm gonna be the only one that's getting this steamed here. So they're like, wait. What have we learned? Uh, Oberlin hasn't worked in 300 years. All we do is boss people around. So what have we learned from being in, you know, university school, um, college, I'm sorry, university school, college. University school. <laughs> She's like, we, we like to order people around, so you're going to need some more Chanel. They always need a group of less attractive people around so the killer can kill them first before they kill them. So they're going to go and do that. Meanwhile, Zay was like, look, um, this was so hilarious. She was like, I think Chamberlain might be the baby in the I belly. I know. This was she, funny. She's like, how'd you find him? She's like, what do you mean? I don't, I don't know Chamberlain. So she's like, the candy striper, the she's one like, that, Ooh. and she's like, the African-American guy tall. And she's like, oh. so uh, She thought that was a boy's assistant. And it's like, no, it's no assistant. So she don't like, have no assistant. I was, she was the first time she's like, I'll never go to Craigslist to fill out a thing. That's for meth heads and cheating husbands. And second of all, she's like, no, that will be the killer, stupid. First of all, she was going this is a her. position for young girls. It might not even be a thing anymore. And you didn't, you didn't think the thing that that was him? So, it was so funny. I know. Because she was like, that's not even a position that we, the way I feel. She was like, who is that? Why is he in the hospital? Why didn't you tell me this? You know about him. You've been talking to him. It's like, why? <laughs> she, nobody questioned where he came from. Nobody cuts you where you get from. And then when she did, it was really funny. I know. It was funny. So then Zayda's gonna go find who the 
Because Sandy's going to go find who the mama is. But guess what? Chanel number five fell out of her bed because she mm -hmm. was in her whole little cast thing because she needed a teaspoon of mayonnaise. That's disgusting. Um, and she, she was like, yeah, I thought she'd been in the hospital because I had a knife in my thorax. I punctured, broke three ribs, punctured a freaking lung. Mm -hmm. And I, Chanel took me out of the hospital and put me here so she, because I was conveniently there to insult. So yeah, so Zayda's like, look, I'll help you if you help me to find this hub. I know, to find the mom, so she was like, okay, so let's come on, let's go. And I don't know why she walking around. Why is she walking know. around? But anyway, yeah, so then Chanel, um, they was like, look, we need new more, need new people to find, to kill people. So they're like, look, you gotta kill the green media, you gotta do this and that. So, they was, they gonna go interview these ladies. So then they was interviewing the ladies. They was, oh my god. She was like, first of all, um, I'm gonna just tell you like it is. What happened if, can you outrun a man with a big stick that looks like a knife, but it's not, but it's made out of metal? So she's like, mm, a knife. So she's like, yeah. She's like, probably not. And it's like, you're perfect. You're hired. Then this other lady was like, I don't even know. And those was the patients. The patients. She was like, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know what a Chanel is. Can you tell me that? And she's like, oh, you can be a Chanel. Then. But yeah, Chanel so was like, well, we gotta have to call Tristan. So Tristan was a guy. He used to write handwritten novels of them, and the Chanels was all again his little Basically, fan fiction. Basically, a uh, obsessed fan of Chanel's. Yeah, so when they got out, they he when they got out, they look so cute in the office. When they got out, he kept texting them and texting them, so they went to go get them him. The lawyer gave them him they number. I know. He was like, I hope you don't mind. So they was Chanel number seven, Chanel number eight, and then Chanel poor um. And then so Chanel number five was like a Chanel. First of all, he can't be a Chanel because he's a man. And second of all, because he's gay, he's gonna take all of our makeup and he's gonna just steal all of that. So then Chanel was, Chanel was like, name one gay serial killer. So then Chanel number three was like, um, he, Jeffrey she named Downer, all of them. All of them. So then she's like, okay, he can kill us and not sleep, but he might not. So anyway, yeah. He was slaying though. He was though. He looked real good. So then. The, the lady, the lady with the accent, right? She fit, yeah. she was like, "Well, I fell in the last ten. I fell, and then she hit her head. So then she, Brock was like, "Well, she probably got for an accent syndrome." So then he went, he found through the fries and all this and that. So then all of a sudden, everybody's accent started changing. Yeah, it was so cool. They had to do that weird acting. I know, know? but um, Cassie uh, had they was making Canadian. fun of. And they was making fun of old boy because he wasn't doing. I know his Cassie bad. had a terrible accent. So good. But anyway, yeah, so yeah. then it was like this was what happened to Madonna what to Madonna, which I don't know what happened to Madonna. I didn't get that one, so maybe she changed her voice. But yeah, so then Chanel number five her assistant was Tristan, you know, because he had the cause basically that was an assistant, that was a caretaker. She was he was had her lipstick on. She's like, Is that Coco K mm -hmm. from the Kylie collection? Yeah. Coco K. He was like, like, No. I wouldn't even want to put that. I don't even know what's living on your lips. And she's like, just for that, I'll make you go give me another pair of sweatpants because I farted all in these. So yeah, so then Zay Day found the woman's name Jane, and they gonna you know they gonna go look for her. So they went to go look for her, mm -hmm. and this is what like got me. First of all, she was like, for the for before this, before this happened, Chanel was in the hospital, and somebody was making some type of noise, and she went in there, and she was like, the the voice is in my head. Stop I know, the in my head. this was crazy. So I was under the cover, and then <laughs> guess who it was? I don't know. Crazy, the crazy pants. She's. I don't know why. This is amazing. I know. So then she was like, she, it was Hester. She was like, what's wrong with you, Hester? Hester. And she's like, well, one, I'm a psychotic, and I'm, a, I'm psychotic, I'm a sociopath, and I'm allergic to gluten. And she's like, I was hurt you didn't ask me to join a Chanel. And she's like, well, probably because you was going to kill us. So she's like, that's exactly why you should let me join. So, yeah, so Hester was moving was in. basically like, okay. Yeah. At that a point. I'm she, like, wait. She, I know. She wanted to be Chanel number six. And then, first of all, why did they even, why did they jump six and went to seven and eight? Because they already know she was still a Chanel, I guess. Oh. But anyway, yeah, so Chanel number three, she was speaking in a French accent. She was like, you can't bring her in there. So Chanel number five was like, you made my parents say that I was adopted. And they was like, well, a serial killer, you know, like, Hester knows the rules, the protocols, and all this and that. Why wouldn't she? They're going to use people as bait. And the choice is obvious. Kill. They was like, the choice is obvious. Kill Tristan. And they was like, no, we're going to go with the with Daria. And it was like, fine, whatever. And then she never Three took Chanel and Pat's whole plate of food. I know, it put it in the sink. But then after that, Chanel and Five was going to go on with Zayday. Zayday was like, I saw some underwear in the hamper and it smelled like. I know, she said it had a sm uh, scent she couldn't identify. A strong perfume scent. She was like, wait, I remember that smell. That's Hester's perfume. Yeah, so then she was the first. So Chanel Five was like, well, I like to douse my underwear in Hester's perfume. And why are you sniffing underwear anyway? Why is she? I don't know. But she was, cause, but she knew that Hester was in there. But she was like, oh, it's not like we caught 
brought Hester to the house and she's staying there to help us with anything. That's not what's going on. I'm like, why did she say all yeah. of that? It was so funny. They went in the lady's house. They met the Jane the lady. Mm -hmm. So they was like, um, Chanel and Five like, oh, this coffee is disgusting. So then Dede was like, this because it's tea. And she's like, well, I didn't order coffee. And she's Dede like, was you like, didn't order nothing because this is a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. So then it was like, well, Jane was like, I believe they tossed his body in the swamp, and then she had the whole thing. Yeah. I don't know if he, they faked everything. He tossed his body in the swamp. So then she's like, okay. So then. So why did she tell the police that? I don't know. Shannon know five. Like he was accusing her. She's like, maybe you murdered him and did this and that. So then Zayda was like, bro, you crazy. So then she was like, what? I'm trying to solve a murder here. I gotta ask the tough questions. So then Zayda was like, there is no tough questions to ask because she's freaking white. Chamberlain can't be the baby. And I was like, that's a lie because I already knew he was black. So then it was like, well, they was did know though. Who was that NBA player that's in your in picture. your picture? That must be for like a make a wish thing after your husband died. She and that? she's like, that is my husband. And it was like <gasps> What? She so was like, maybe Chanel and Five isn't a bad sidekick after all. But she didn't even know what was going on. No. So then Cassie, he was like Cassie was trying to figure out, you know, like the lady said she felt backwards. So do you think Zay didn't know who it is? She think I think she thinks it's shame. Well after no. Does she still think it's shame then? I'm going to say this. Do she think that... She, she already pointed out that Jane was white. And we, she, we all realized that that man was black in that picture. Would she put two and two together and think that Cassidy was black and white? What are they going to say? His, what, what would she think his race what would they think? What would they say that Day Day thought his race was? I just think it's something crazy. It is. It is. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. So, okay. yeah, so Cassie was trying to figure out why, what was wrong with the swollen in the lady's brain. Mm -hmm. Then Brock figured out that it was two places that was swollen up. So they're going to put her on steroids. So she's like, okay. But then, what's wrong? they don't know what's wrong with them because they got some contagious now acid. I know. Like, I don't know. What the heck? What? Oh, my God. After that, Zayden went to Chamberlain. She's like, you a real freak. I that know. So funny. <laughs> you a real freak. So he's like, but he was putting, he was putting, he was playing with little, little dolls cat. and the axe and figures. And then he put a cat inside of his car. Linda. And then I thought this was she, then she came up. She was like, you a real freak. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> but yeah, so he's like, well, I like my he said something about his butt being messed with, but anyway, that's how God made him. But anyway, he was like, look, I want to help people with my car, and they would never let me on the bus to go to another hospital, and this is the only close hospital at home, so why wouldn't I want to mess, you know, help people out? You don't mm, have to be That bitch. thing was funny, too. I know. He, then he pulled out the cat to rub it, so mm. she's like, mm. So he's like, if I'm a freak, then I'm going to let my freak flag fly. So he kind of made it seem like, you know, he wasn't the bad guy. He yeah. didn't want to help people. But then, um, after that, Cassidy, Brock figured out there's a way for Cassidy and for Cassidy and Shinoda to get their stuff yeah. back. They just gotta watch a whole bunch of American movies because they got some kind of... This guy wrote a paper on and how we adapt. He was accents to fit in more. Mm -hmm. So they just gotta watch a whole bunch of American, everything American, just to, you know, get everything done. And make. But, but then... Some of the movies wasn't even about um, Americans. So then Cassidy's like, well, I can't do it this weekend. I got I something got, to I do. I got a thing to do. Sorry. So I thought he was dead. I had to do some dead people. So I don't know. But anyway, I always yeah. suspected him. Nurse Hoffel, she went to Dean Munch, and, you know, she was like, oh, you fired, nurse. And then nurse was like, I don't like the way you treat my staff. And I'm like, Chanel, the Chanel deserve it. But anyway, she's like, look, um, she's like, you mean the Chanel, you hired as doctors who are not doctors? She's like, yeah, you're speaking them into a pay offensive way, and you're addicted to painkillers. She was like, what? Where did you get off, you <laughs> boozy old hag? I love, I think about it every day and every night, but I'm not addicted. But she's like, okay, then I am addicted. But... That's like, you know, I'm not going nowhere because you have to rehire me. Because I know about your little terminal, little illness, accidentally eating human brains. But not as crazy as the fact that you got on a plane. You're supposed to be on to New Jersey, but you went to New Guinea. So then, um, I think Dean is going to kill her. She's like, don't cross me and I'll be sure it'll be the last thing you do. And Dean was like, why are you in my face like that? I think she's what's like, happening, she probably has something to do with it too. Why does she want to work there? I don't know. Just so she can have an endless supply of pills? Maybe so. No, I don't think that's it. I think she I thought was she was the mom at first. But yeah. So then the new Chanel. She could be the grandma. The new Chanel's, they was, um, they've been running around errands and stuff like that. So Chanel and these like, we have a little makeover at the summer party. So first of all, they was having a little, like, the little conga line at yeah. the hospital. They was that's, having fun. You saw Hester was punching the air. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so then Dave was pillow fighting and Hester was obviously trying to kill him with the pillow. I know. Why was she hitting her? Was she got that whole cast on? Yeah, so then um it was time for yeah, Chanel and number eight had to go to the morgue to go find a little her a Hermes vintage choker 
they was like, hopefully this is they sacrifice. They accomplished this to the murder. They sacrificing them foot. How long do you think they're going to keep up when they run out of them? But anyway, yeah, so then she went down there to go ahead. You know, Daria went down there to go get her little yeah, kid. So then the it. green meeting was right there. Nobody yeah. saw him. So then Trista was like, look, I've been saving a lot of money for that Hermes choker forever. Infinity, you're not about to get it from me. From me. You're not going to take it. So she's like, fine, you can have it. So then the Chanel was dancing. and she came back upstairs. And they was like, oh. What are you doing here? Yeah, so they was like, oh, yeah, we let him have it. So then they ran down there. And Hester was strutting. You saw she's like, mm-hmm. She came down and strutting. That girl was running frantically. I know. She know if I was like this. Yeah. But yeah, so they went down and they found his body and like the little, mo mo the thing that they pulled out the morgue and he was holding his little fan fiction book with his intestines all pulled gonna, out. That was disgusting. That was crazy. But I wonder what's going to be in his little book. That know. was his last fan fiction stuff. But I don't think he had that with him. They, I don't know. They killed him. They accomplished this to murder. So yeah, so Dean, how much is like, you hired them to What is that date? thing? What is he just walking around the green meeting? I guess and so. And didn't, what... Maybe that's why. Maybe does that, he live there? Maybe he got a costume there. Maybe he worked there. He seems so tall, though. Mm -hmm. This Cassie girl doesn't seem that tall. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So Dean much was like, look, you hired them to be bait. And Chanel was like, look, I didn't tell. I sent Chanel to eight down there. You know what I'm saying? I'm... And Chanel and Five told them. So, uh, told mm -hmm. Dima. So then Chanel and Three like, look, we didn't think this through. Obviously, we should have set a trap. We just let him get away I know. With bait. They were just going to let him. They just said bait and no trap. Like, what was the point? What was so, the point? They was like, yeah. So then um, they was like, where's Hester? Because the FBI is going to find out. So then she's like, look. Chanel was like, let Hester out? I know. Am I? Denise did. But then Denise right. left out for that one day. Right, right, right. Yeah. So Denise was the only one who knew about it. Mm -hmm. So then she was like, look, am I my sister's keeper? No. no. <laughs> so then Dean was like, look, these Chanel, they are working efficiently. So we are going to need some extra hands. So the the other woman was, they was, I'm fine with being human shields because I like these outfits. I know. But yeah, so then um, they got some newer Chanel's. You got Chanel, you got Addison, Andrea, and Minch. One, one is a dungeon master. Chanel number 10 was born with no kidneys but 30 feet of extra intestines. And Chanel number 11 got 11 fingers. So, yeah, so Chanel's like, look, polite society says we can't haze you. She roast them. But I want you to clean Chanel and Five's bed pants. She takes massive dumps, and I want it so clean that we can eat novelty Sundays out of it. So, they was like, go, leave. So, Dean was like, look, I'm going to find out what happened to Hester, and you harboring her. I'm going to report it, and you're going to be a cop to murder, and you're going to the lecture chair, and I'm going to watch you fry, so you better tell me where she at. Okay. So, who wants to tell me where Hester is? Yeah, so they was all walking I out. I think, um, just, what's the name is going to be? Chanel Five. Yeah. Hopefully so. Because all the Chanel, the new Chanel's, they was walking out. So then Chanel 11 was like, um, do we get paid for this? And Andre was like, oh, I don't think it's a paid internship. Uh, internship? What are you talking about? But anyway, yeah. So then the green mini came, and then they just knocked Chanel number eleven down. That was at the date. Uh, that yeah. was at daytime. They just knocked her down, left her there. So then he was, he saw her finger, and he I know, cut it like, off. He cut like, it off. Oh and my god, like, thank you. And they're like, <laughs> they killed her. So this yeah. is brutal now I on know. the show. <laughs> so then the end, Jane was like, I'm making breakfast for dinner, honey. I know you. He, she said she never had a good you know relationship with her son, but she said I'm making breakfast for dinner, honey, just like you like it. I was like, Chamberlain, and then it was like. Dun, dun. It was Cassidy. He was like, "Thanks, mom." Was like, I, I know, it's so weird. And she's like, "You're so good to me. You're so good I know. To me. So he's like, "Some oh. people came from by from the hospital. Should we do something about it?" That's what she said. She, she knows. He was like, "After all you've been through, you deserve better. You deserve the whole world." And he he like, I'm like, okay. I was like, "Yeah, Taylor, I'm like, gonna take care of Taylor. He's so funny. Yeah, I like him. But he's trying to greet me, killing everybody." Well, it's like always the good looking people, like Nick Jonas. Spoon. I don't think Nick's dead. It also like Hester's too based about it. She wanted to kill him. But Hester says she know. I know. So how would she know? How would she know that that Maybe was Maybe they crossed paths somehow. Maybe she got transferred to them when she was in the hospital. I have no clue. Well, you think he Maybe was, that was in the same you hospital? You think he went to some kind of psych ward because mm -hmm. of what ha Well, he didn't see it happen. I don't mm -hmm. know. What does he do? Maybe his mom was. What in does he ward. do? How did he get a part? Be a part come part of the, the hospital somehow. Maybe his mom was. So in maybe ward. 
Yeah, so and knew, somehow and knew what's her name and knew Hester's yeah, mom. Not unless Hester's he was Asian. a yeah, unless he was a doctor mm-hmm. at one where Hester was before. I don't know, but you know Hester next week is gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? Chanel, like I'm gonna get you, and the killer is revealed. They said it's crazy. I mean, because so, we already know kinda. I guess we think we know. Cassie's. I crazy. still think it could be Chamberlain. Mm-hmm. Because he's creepy, but <laughs> he's so funny. Cassidy's the baby. Well, we assume Cassidy's the baby. What, what do you mean? Maybe she had another baby. Well, no, she said she didn't get married. So Cassidy's the baby, which is kind of a shocker for me because I didn't expect that to be the baby. But yeah, he's the baby, and it's not a coincidence that he's working at the hospital. It's, it's not. So when they find out, I mean, they probably not gonna like, suspect him. Like, oh, I thought she was white or something. But yeah. I don't know, I think Zayde is going to probably figure it out. Zayde is the only sane and reasonable, logical person. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not, not with the Chanel Okay, you know, sometimes. But most of the time, she's the yeah. only one that's, you know, but yeah. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. She has scrubs on.